There's body camera video from Justin Timberlake's overnight DWI arrest in the Hamptons, but there's no indication when that's going to be made public. The entertainer, who is currently touring and due in Dallas in December, was released from jail and pleaded not guilty after police say he failed a field sobriety test and then refused to take a breathalyzer. Fox's Jody Goldberg has the latest from New York. A first look at Justin Timberlake's mugshot after he was arrested for allegedly driving drunk on Tuesday morning. He told police, I had one martini and I followed my friends home. But according to court documents, he had bloodshot and glassy eyes, smelled like alcohol, and performed poorly on all field sobriety tests. Anyone can make a mistake, you know, but he should have known better. Surveillance video shows Timberlake behind the wheel of his gray BMW right before he was pulled over. Police say he ran a stop sign at Madison Street and Germain Avenue, and he couldn't stay in his lane. They'll stop you at the drop of a hat out here. They're very, very strict. They won't let him get away with anything, even if he's a celebrity. In today's day and age with technology and Uber, and especially someone like Justin with unlimited resources, there's no excuse to get behind the wheel. Sources say Timberlake was coming from the American Hotel. It's a hot spot in the village of Sag Harbor, and it's also where singer Billy Joel was on Tuesday for lunch. Timberlake isn't the first celebrity under the spotlight in the Hamptons. In 2003, Joel swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. Judge not, lest ye be judged. News of the arrest spread quickly through what's normally a quiet village 100 miles east of New York City. The hotel Timberlake was at is next to the court where he was arraigned and pleaded not guilty. It's also across the street from his attorney's office. I was staying at the American Hotel and apparently he was there. You would think this guy has a driver. You know, he's so famous. I was surprised he'd be driving his own car in one respect. Yeah, and everyone really has to take accountability for their own actions. Jody Goldberg, Fox News.